Today we'll be doing lesson 10, geometry. We'll just be going over some perimeter stuff and some area stuff for multiple shapes. First example, we'll have a rectangle and we'll do the perimeter and the area to the rectangle. To find the perimeter to this rectangle or any rectangle or square, you add up all the sides and that should give you your perimeter. So 2 plus 6 plus 2 plus 6. And when you add them all up, it should give you 16. So P equals 16, P just stands for the perimeter. Now let's find the area to this rectangle. Area of a rectangle, or square, is defined as length times width. So you just take one of the widths, or the lengths, doesn't matter, you could call one or the other one length, and the other one the width. So we'll call this one the width, and this one the length. So 2 times 6 would you give you 12. So the area would equal 12. A stands for the area. And that would be your answer for this. In this example, example number two, we'll find the perimeter to this weird shape. By doing this, we just add up all the sides. 4 plus 3 plus 1 plus 3 plus 3 plus 6. And when you do that, you should get 20. So the perimeter to this, 20. Now let's try to find the area to this. To find the area, you'd have to simply split these into two separate rectangles. So as you can see there, I made the dot line representing that this rectangle here and this rectangle are separate from each other. We can redraw these as two separate ones. Three on this side goes to three this side. Three on top here, three on top there. Now this is going to be the same on the other side, and three on the other side will be the same. Now we have 4 on this side, so this side on this will be 4, and there will be 3 on this side and 3 on this side. To find the area, find the area of each, and then add them together, and you should have your area. Let's remember what, how to find the area. You do the length times the width. We'll call this one the width, and this one the length. So 3 times 4 give you 12, and you have 3 times 3, and that should give you 9. Now you add these together, 12 plus 9 would equal 21. So the area would equal 21 for this weird shape. Just to do a recap, area is length times width, and perimeter is just add up all the sides. Remember with the rectangle, if you have one side here, it's going to be the same width or length on this other side. So if a 4 here, you're going to have a 4 on this side. And then for this one, it's a 3, so you're going to automatically have a 3 on the other side. If they're rectangles, now with squares, all the sides will be the same. So this one's a square, and this one will be a rectangle. Example 3, we'll be working with triangles. Now, we're working with triangles. We need to know what the area formula is and how we get it. We'll say this length is 5, and this one is 4. So they triangle area is one half base times height. B stands for the base and H stands for the height. The base is usually the one from the bottom and the height is whatever is going upwards. So the base is 5 and the height is 4. So you multiply those together so you get 20. Now you times it by one half. So when you're doing fractions, remember, you just multiply the tops together and the bottoms together. That's 20 over 1 times 1 half. So it looks like 20 divided by 2, which should give you 10. So the area of this triangle would be 10. Triangles are very similar to rectangles or squares. If we added the same triangle on the other side, so it looks like a rectangle or a square, what would be the area to this one, this whole square? Or rectangle. Length times width, which would be 5 times 4, which is 20. Now, since we only have half of this, you just divide it in half, and that's where the half comes into. Instead of the length times width, we just call them base times height. It's the same thing. Example number four parallelograms. Very similar to rectangles. Now, with the parallelograms, this side and this side will be the same, and this side and this side will be the same. Now the area formula would be base times height. Now we know the base of this is 6. 
the height three. So you just do the base times the height, three times six, eighteen. So eighteen would be the area of this parallelogram. Let's see how they they put this together. Now, if I move this triangle here on the other side, and then cut this off, then fill in the dotted line. What does that look like to you? It's just a rectangle. And the rectangle, simple one, formula is length times width. Here's one of the lengths, and this is the width. So that's how you see they get the formula for the parallelogram. Example number five, we'll be going over circles. In this example, we'll be talking about circumference of a circle. There's two ways to find the circumference of a circle. Pi times diameter, or 2 pi r which is represents as radius. The radius is halfway point so from this dif distance to the end or the end to the midpoint of the circle. The diameter goes all the way through the circle. So what if we say the radius of the circle is 4? Well this one only has the radius symbol in it so plug the 4 into the r so you're left with 2 pi 4 and these are all being multiplied 2 times pi times 4. You can multiply the 4 and the 2 together, which gives you 8. So you're left with 8 pi. And that would be your circumference. To find the diameter would just be 2 times whatever the radius is. So 2 times 4 would give you the 8, which would give you the diameter, the full length all the way across. And you can take this diameter and plug it into here and it will give you 8 pi. So either way, you can do both and you find the same answer. Okay, let's say the diameter is 12 of the circle. Well, we can use our circumference formula for either the diameter or the radius. Let's change this into a radius. The radius equals the diameter divided by 2. So if we divide 12 by 2, we should get 6. So the radius of this would be 6. So let's plug the 6 into our equation. So you get 2 pi, 6. 6 times 2 is 12. So you get 12 pi for the circumference. One more example, example number 7. This will be the last one. We'll be talking about volume of a rectangle. A rectangular cube. To find the volume of this would be length times width times height. This would be the volume of any cubic geometric shape. We'll say the length is 3, the width 2, and the height 5. So we have length equals 3, width equals 2, and height equals 5. Multiply them all together. You have 2 times 3 would equal 6, 6 times 5 would equal 30. V would equal 30, and V would stand for the volume for this shape. So the volume would be 30. We would like to thank you for watching our video on lesson 10 geometry. We'd like to just remind you to subscribe and like this video and also leave a comment below of any suggestions. You can also find all of our videos on mymathmanual.com. Thanks for watching.